About 14 hours from now, voters will head to the polls to choose Charleston's first new mayor in 40 years. John Tecklenburg and Leon Stavernacker survived the election two weeks ago and will meet in tomorrow's runoff. And tonight, we are getting a closer look at each candidate. First up, my conversation with John Tecklenburg. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. oh, on the peninsula, Harleston Village in Wagner Terrace. John and Sandy Tecklenburg. Uh, we lived there for a little while. And uh, Daniel Island. Know the neighborhoods in Charleston. Twice we've lived uh, West Ashley. So we, we're West Ashley now again. After all, they've lived in many of them. I'm really familiar with the fabric of our city, and part of that is from uh, having lived in different parts of the city. You haven't run any entity where the budget has been so large. Is that a concern? Even though I've never run before, um, my, my mom served on city council. I have experience in city government, running businesses, running civic organizations. Yes, ma'am. What is your position on completion of I-526? Have you ever worked against the completion of I-526 or supported any efforts that prevented I-526 from being completed? I haven't, no. It was planned 40 years ago, and it's a shame that it's not already under construction. The County of Charleston, the State Infrastructure Bank Board, and the Department of Transportation are the parties that need to finalize an agreement. What are your ideas or thoughts for relieving the flooding issue in Charleston? Charleston needs to get on board. We need to work on our drainage systems to prevent the inflow of tidal water into uh, our storm drain system and have block captains where some citizen is responsible for looking at the drains on his block and making sure after a rain that they don't get clogged up and if he's able to clear them, if not, notify the city appropriately. Though he studied chemistry, Tecklenburg's piano skills were honed at the Berkeley School of Music and he's hoping for a reason to sing Tuesday night. What compelled you to run for mayor? What compelled you to seek this office right now? You know, I, Carolyn, I really felt a calling in my life to serve. Again, looking for the opportunity to serve. I think we're going to have a big night next, uh, next Tuesday night. And tonight, the conversations continue. You will hear my conversation with Leon Stavronakis coming up tonight on News 2 at 530.